In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer leader stat scores from one place to the next while using the teleport service. So you'll notice that I have gold 100, gems 13. I'm going to go to my teleport pad. When I get to my next place, I want to have 100 gold, 13 gems. Awesome. And then I added another metric called tickets just to show that the board doesn't have to be exactly the same. You can modify it and then still carry over what you want. So let's go ahead and get a fresh world and get started with that. All right, so here's my fresh world. The first thing I want to do in using the asset manager is save my game. So I'm going to go to game settings here. I'm going to hit save. And then I'll call this something like teleport with leader stats. Tell, whoops, caps locks on. Teleport with leader stats. There we go. We'll save it off. And I'm also going to use my data store service. So go to game settings again. Go to security, enable studio access to API services. So the data store is going to be uh, across the entire experience. So when we add a place to our game, we'll be able to access that data store. You don't want to send leader stats data locally with the teleport service because uh, it's, it's local data and it can get hacked. So now let's go ahead and add our other place. Let's go to view. I'm going to hit this output window because I want to show you something. When we hit our asset manager right here, we're going to go to places. Here is our teleport with leader stats. That's the place we're in now. When we add a new place, we're going to get this ugly error. Roblox is working on it, but that's okay. We can just go ahead and delete that error. When we go back and then go back into places, look at that. Our place did add successfully despite the ugly error. So I will go ahead and close this and I'm going to close this. So I have more space. Actually, let's open this up now. Go ahead and open that. I'll pause it because it takes a second to open. Pause the video. All right. We got our new place showed up. This is uh, number 230. I didn't name it or anything. We could name it, but it's fine for now. I'm just going to shrink this down and we'll have it. All right. So I'm going to get rid of that asset manager. So I have more space to work with. I am going to go to server script service. I am in my teleport with leader stats, original world. We're going to add a script and we're going to call this leaderboard, right? This is our start place. All righty. Let's go ahead and add a function, local function, add board player. All right. And then we'll go ahead and make a board instance new. And it can be a folder or a model. And we will make the parent the player. All right. Now the board's name must be leader stats. And we'll put a metric on there. We'll do gold instance new glue uh, int value. <laughs> I was thinking gold. And we'll make that board. All right, and then the gold name, this is what's going to show up on your leader stats in your game. So I'll make that capital gold. And we'll just do another one for gems. Copy, control C, control V for paste. Say gems. That's also going to be an int value. Gems, gems. We'll make that a capital G. Cool. Now let's add the board to our player. So we'll do game players for the player service. We're going to capture the player added event. We will connect that to an anonymous function. It doesn't have a name. Player will get passed in because we're capturing the player added event. So it happens automatically. Then we'll add our board passing in the player. Cool. But we have nothing on that board. So let's just go ahead and make a function. A local function. And we'll say give stuff. Right. And that's just going to populate our board with some random numbers. So let's go ahead and get a random number generator. Local rand equals random new. And then the player will have the leader stats on them. And we, when we do this, we'll have a gold value and that's going to be rand next integer. We'll just put between one and a hundred gold pieces. We'll randomly add between one and a hundred gold pieces to our to our leader stat for our player whenever they enter the game. We'll make this one gems. Cool. And I don't know, let's make it a little bit different. We'll go between one and 50 gems. All right, cool. So we need to give this stuff at some point in the game. 
I mean, you'd probably do something more uh, fancy for giving stats, but this will work for our example. Cool beans. So we got this leaderboard. Awesome. What we're going to need to do before we do our teleport stuff is we're going to add a module script. And this module script is going to be called utils. And we're going to save stuff in utils. So I'm going to change this module to utils. Ah, there we go. Uh, you know what? It's just easier to do this. Utils. Cool beans. All right, so this is a module script. It could be called from other scripts. If you haven't worked with them, they're really, really cool. Um, in here, we're going to access our data store service. We'll get a variable for the data store service. And then with the data store service, we're going to make a data store. So I just call that DS for data store. So data store service, get data store, and let's call this, I don't know, stuff. Cool beans. It's got to be unique among the experience, right? So um, it could be, we're going to use the same stuff in both places. Now I'll do two functions. I'll do one for saving data and one for getting the data and initializing it to the leaderboard. So we'll get the utils. Notice there's no local in front of this function. We're going to call this from some other script. Utils colon save data. Player will be passed in. What we'll do is we'll make a table for the data we want to save. And in this case, I'm going to save everything. So I'll say, I'll make a field for gold in my table. Say player, leader stats, gold dot value. And then I'll do one for gems. Player dot leader stats dot gems. And what is that? value. Now, in order to save it, I'm not going to do a P call. I'll just do the DS set async. Cool beans. Player user ID will be the key for the data. User ID. And then data is going to be this data that gets stored in the data store under the user ID. So that's how we're going to get it. So on the other side or on this side, if we're coming back, we will want to get our data and initialize the board. So I'll just call this init data player. Here, utils, there we go. Here, we'll get the data from the data store, get async player user ID. So when we pass the player user ID into the get async, we are going to be returned this data if it was already saved off. It may not have been saved off. So we're gonna to have to do a check. So if data, oh my gosh, there we go. Then player leader stats gold value equals data dot gold. Cool. And then we'll do one for gems, right? Leader stats gems value equals data dot gems. And if there was no data, we're just going to drop right on out of here. Nobody's even going to know the wiser. Cool beans. All right. Now we need to teleport. All right. And we got another place. Let's look at our asset manager. Look at that. That's where we're going to go right here. This 230, right? We are now currently in teleport leader stats, the main place. So let's go ahead and make a part. And we'll make this part our pad. You could do all kinds of cool stuff like freeze the character, or do smoke or whatever. I am just going to make a plain old teleport pad. All right, and let's anchor it though so it doesn't bounce around or anything. Let's see, there we go, anchored. And we'll add a script. The script, I'm gonna call this teleport. Cool beans. And should we make this a little bigger? Let's make that a little bigger, cool. I'll say local TS for teleport service. Look at that, I got an extra space in here. There we go, just to make it look neat. Game, get service, teleport service. I know I sometimes call that teleportation service. It's teleport service. We're gonna need a place ID, right? Place ID of where we're going, right? So you might wanna call that place ID to go or something. But let's just get this copy ID to clipboard. I right clicked for that. 
And I'll just paste it. Oops, it didn't get into the buffer. Copy ID to clipboard and paste it. Cool. We're good. We can get rid of this now. Got more space. All right. Now, what else do we need? We need to save our data off too, right? So let's go ahead and get our utils. And that is in, we're going to do a require game server script service utils. Cool. Now we can call functions from the utils. We are going to do a touch event for our pad. So we'll say on touch. Other part is going to be the part that touches our part. Did I spell that wrong? I did. Look at that. Function. There we go. Oh, let's get a variable for our pad, for our teleport pad. Script.parent, right? So the script is right here. Teleport. The parent is the teleport pad. When we touch the teleport pad right here, we're going to call that function. And we're going to do it like this. We're going to say pad dot. Uh, we're going to do an on touch. Oh my gosh. Why is that doing that? Touched. <laughs> I'm not on touch. Touched. Connect. This is on touch. There we go. Cool beans. All right. So when we touch our pad, this is going to be called. And then we're going to teleport. First, we got to get the player though, right? Because the other part touching our pad might be the base plate or something like that. So we'll say game players, uh, get player from character, other part, parent, right? So I can make this even bigger, can I? There we go. So if the uh, other part is a hand or a foot, the parent will be the character. And then this is going to successfully pass in a player. However, if it's a ball or a base plate or, or something else, then there's not going to be any player. So let's check to make sure there's a player. So if player then, we'll go TS teleport. We're going to go to the place ID, the place with the place ID. We're going to pass in the player. You could transfer your leader stats data with this teleport data, but that's going to be client side. Somebody uh, bad could could capture that data and manipulate it and then make your game no fun anymore. All right, so we're gonna do the data store. All right, so how do we do that? Well, right before we teleport, let's go ahead, get our utils and save the data, right? And we just have to pass in the player. Now our data is saved. All right, so we're good on this side. Let's go ahead and save it. Saved everything, published to Roblox. What are we gonna need over here on the other side? Well, the first thing that comes to mind in my, I'm going to go to my teleport leader stats, the start area. I'm going to copy these two scripts, right? I'll say copy. I'm going to bring up my other place and I am going to paste them, paste into. Now leader, uh, the utils is perfect the way it is. Leaderboard needs a little bit of changing, right? So this is the new place. Let's make this a little bigger. We're not going to need that anymore. Let's add another metric in case we have like tickets in this world. Boom. Tickets. You don't have to do this if you don't need another metric, but I just want to show you that you could add stuff and take away stuff. You don't have to keep the board exactly the same. There we go. So we have tickets, but we, we're not going to have any tickets in our data store. So we're not going to worry about this. We could get tickets here. All right. And then you'd have to modify the utils, but you'll get the idea. So give stuff. We don't need to give stuff. We're going to get it from the other side. Right. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use our utils right here. Let's get rid of that. We'll put utils, get data. We'll say init data. But before we do that, we are going to have to get a variable for our utils. We'll require game server script service utils, right? Right here. Copy that. Put this in here. Colon and knit data. Oh, uh, yeah. And then pass in a player. And we are done save this off, publish it to Roblox. And just out of curiosity, hey, I enabled Studio Access to API services on my original game 
Is it on my new place? It is. Cool. You may want to check that every time because Roblox does change things, right? So um, we know that that's saved off. This one, this is our start place. Let's save this off again, just in case. And then let's go ahead and play our game. That was my demo right here. I'm gonna to go to create. Here's my new game, start place. Let's play it. I'll go ahead and pause this so, it's, so you don't have to wait for it to start up. Here we go. All right. There is my, oh, we have 72 gold. We have 31 gems. I'm going to go to my little pad. Probably should put like a little sign up saying, hey, teleportation in process. But there we are. We're in our new place. We still have the 72 gold. We still have 30, 31 gems. And then we have a possibility of getting tickets. All right. So if you want to save tickets off and stuff like that, you're going to have to modify your utils. All you do is you just come down in here. Yeah, go ahead and leave that. All right. We'll open up uh, utils in the place that you want them to be saved so you'd have to do this on both sides if you wanted them on both sides but right in here you would have to do your stuff for utils if you wanted to save it or init the data just be careful when you're doing leader stats that are different on different places you got to get these to match up and that will be a whole video in its own but you'll probably be able to figure it out from what I've shown you so far. So I will see you in the next video. Good luck with that. I think it's pretty useful. The data store is a great tool.